Dr. Mungekar. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Sir, we know that teaching profession is such that which is paid, salary is paid only for speaking, re relevant or irrelevant, <laughs> meaning for war, meaningless, and that I was. Today is the day I'm of expressing just gratitude. <clears throat> sir, please allow me to say, a childless mother myself of casual worker in invisible village of Kokan. I was privileged to become professor of economics in Bombay University, member of Agriculture Prices Commission, vice chancellor of University of Mumbai, and ultimately Rajya Sabha. These, all these other important things were there in my life. But as Jawaharlal Nehru said, for any citizen, becoming member of the parliament is the greatest achievement and this is possible, this could be possible only because of India's vibrant democracy. So recently I was in Pakistan, as Gil Saab mentioned, and we know actually what is happening in Pakistan. And I just asked them that, what is that situation led to Pakistan to the present situation? And I must quote, and the greatest tribute was paid by the Pakistani people, Dr. Ambedkar. When I asked that, why Pakistan in the present shape of things? They said, sir, unfortunately, we did not get B.R. Ambedkar that you get. Yeah. This is something stupendous. Sir, representing this house in any case is the greatest privilege. Leader of the house just now mentioned that this is permanent house. This is permanent house because Indian Union by constitution indissoluble. Because a big continental country has been diffused into several states for the administrative convenience. It is not United States of America. This is union of the Indian states. Sir, I express my gratitude to former president of India, Srimati Pratipatai Patil, Congress president, Srimati Sonia Ji Gandhi, and Honorable Dr. Manmohan Singh for making me to Rajya Sabha, which I never imagined. I must make special mention of Dr. Manmohan Singh because 17 July 1991, his budget came for economic reforms. And since that day onward, I had my own reservations even till today. Knowing those reservations about economic reforms and the new economic policy, some reservations, he was magnanimous to bring me to the Planning Commission. And I differed with some of the important decisions in the Planning Commission itself. For example, sir, allow me to mention one thing. I mentioned that I will not allow the Planning Commission to deduct even the one rupee which is made the provision for the minorities. Because particularly Muslim, these are the words, sir, please allow me to say, I brought into the Planning Commission vocabulary, particularly Muslim, because I know the wretched economic conditions. And I said that the poverty between the scheduled caste and the, and the, back, and the Muslim, there is one difference that Muslims, unfortunately, are treated with suspicion. That is not the case with the scheduled caste. I, I, I paid trip, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely happy to express my gratitude to Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji. Sir, I'm grateful to you personally. <coughs> Our relationship was such that I, your relationship and my relation between that, you were vice chancellor and a junior uh, lecturer in the college, or the, in the university. My relationship with Khan Sab and uh, Korean Sab was, strict headmasters and the junior most teacher in the high school. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but I enjoyed that. I must make special mention about uh, Shri Arun Jaitli Ji. 4th May 2010, I delivered the maiden speech in this house. And the next day when I was sitting in the house, Arun Ji came there where I was sitting and asked me, how many days you have taken to prepare this lecture? I always remember that and I told 15 days. And then he made one comment that I don't mention. Sir, I received respect, honor, affection from each and every member of the house, every moment I was sensing that. And I was, sir, I was, I'm indeed overwhelmed. Now only one thing I would mention at the last time, I mean the, the last suggestion. One is that uh, question our, I, 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 I follow you perfectly, question our should be sacrosanct. Whatever dispute, whatever disagreement, <coughs> question over is the most important <coughs> instrument to challenge the government on the policy matters. Okay? And for the last point I must make, make mention. 
Plus 40 years of my public life, not a single day I remain peaceful because I have been observing the conflict between the wants of 30% elite class and the needs of the 70% of the people is becoming acute and acute and acute. And this crisis, which must be, we should be able to solve at the earliest. Otherwise, the entire, the whole uh, temple of democracy Dr. Ambedkar suggested would be in peril. Sir, I wish each and every retiring member of my colleague with uh, happy, fruitful life and all the members, those who are there in the house, those who are coming in the future, the democracy of this country will remain in the safe hands. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mangekar.